Hello everybody, my name is William of Sarcastic Content and today, as you can see on your screens and by the title of the video, I'm not sure what I'm calling it yet, well, it's kind of obvious, but today I will be building you guys a mono normal team. Now, I've got to be honest, normal, probably one of my favourite types, uh, second favourite I'd say, because um, I don't really want to say it's my favourite, like, completely. Um, but yeah, it's like stat wise, it's not particularly a good type. But the thing I find. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just unplug my phone. Okay, that's over. Sorry about that. But yeah, so normal's a strange type. And it's very, very unique in the Pokemon games because it's not. It, it sort of doesn't do anything, it doesn't have anything super effective. It's only weak to one type. Um, it can't do anything to Ghost, but Ghost can't do anything to it. So, it, the way that normal type works to me is that it all relies on the second typing that the Pokemon has. Now, the picture I'm showing you now, I'm sorry it doesn't have the Gen 6 Pokemon, but there's definitely going to be at least one Gen 6 Pokemon on my team because they're so diverse in Gen 6 with the whole... Uh, the Pyro or Heliolisk and I can't think, was it just Pyro and Heliolisk with like normal electric, normal fire, which is really cool. Um, in terms of their overall stats, their averages, they actually have the worst overall defense, special defense stats, which isn't very good. Um, but it does have the third best HP stat, that's probably helped by Chansey and Blissey, but you know, they're very handy and it, although overall it's got some of the worst spe defense, special defense. Chansey is probably one of the, boy, well, it is one of the best wall, if not the best wall in OU at the current moment in time. Which is very interesting. And I'm not going to make it hyper offensive or like hyper OU. I'm just going to sort of go with ones that I like. And some of that might not uh, transfer very well. I'm. It's probably not going to be an OU team, the one I make. Uh, it's probably going to be quite low tier. Um, Diggersby is the other one I was thinking of, sorry, um, from Gen 6. Um, but yeah, let's get straight to it. So, Pokemon Showdown, and let's just scope out the, the possibilities. So, we've obviously got all these little cut Pokemon here. But then we have Ambipom's really fun to use with the fake out lead with the life or Braviary for its, um, Defiant can be pretty fun to block, uh, intimidate users. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them. Chichino is pretty cool. Smeargle can be literally be anything. Um, that's are you because most normal types are quite low tier to be honest. Mega Ordino, uh, Kecleon could be pretty interesting. I know I'm not going to be doing mono normal rules. Like I know that there's a specific rule set for Smogon Mono. But I'm just going to be doing just normal types. Even though Kecleon obviously has Protean, so technically it's banned from Smogon Mono. I'm only going to be, I'm not going to be using these in mo in the Mono format. I'm just going to be using them as a Mono team. So yeah, I could go missing note. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, of course, with 136 attack. It's 2 OP, that's what it is. Um, there are some quite fun Pokemon here. I haven't decided on... I think, um, I don't think I can go for a Mega, because all the Megas are quite high tier, apart from Ordino, but I don't really want to use Ordino. Now, I'm actually going to base this team around my favourite Pokemon of all time. It's a Gen 5 Pokemon, oh, and it goes by the name of Stoutland. Now, I know what you're thinking, Stoutland, oh, he's PU, that's awful. Um, Stoutland, but Stoutland is a beast and I mean a beast now uh, I know I know what you're thinking oh it's only a Stoutland it's PU that can't be very good but I am here to prove you wrong now if we're going low tier I like to use a band instead of a scarf because band can be very very powerful um, and I actually like running retaliate on this set instead of um, return just for that super powerful um being able to be a re great revenge killer like, like like that 
is just amazing. Now, superpower, also great coverage. Um, in the really high tiers, it covers Ferrothorn perfectly. Or, like, like Ferrothorn I found to be its perfect counter. Um, like, Stanton can't really do much to it. So, superpower can be good. Um, Fire Fang can also be good, but that's also not very powerful. Um, the next move is Play Rough, as you see there. Um, oh, have I just... Oh. Play Rough is perfect. It gets rid of its only weakness, literally its only weakness, which is the fighting type and also because of its scrappy ability it can hit ghost types so ghost types are no longer a, a problem to this Pokemon and wild charge just for great coverage now yeah I'm, I'm liking this I like I like I haven't really made a mono normal team before so this should be quite fun I think the highest I would go is RU but I'd quite like to keep it NU and a bit below possibly now the prop the biggest problem I find personally with normal type Pokemon is that there's not many special attackers. Now it's, the sec it's got the second worst special attack average in the game. Um, whereas its attack is quite a bit higher overall. Now I know Linoon can be really good as a potential sweeper. Slacking also amazing. Um, I do need a wall. Uh, Porygon 2 and Porygon Z are obviously or Z, sorry, Z sort of makes more sense for the name. Um, Porygon 2, obviously a great wall, but that's a UU, along with Snorlax. So I'm assuming that most of the great walls are in higher tier. So I might just have to go for a... I could go Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff does actually have not very good defences at all, actually. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I thought it did, but it doesn't. So that's nice. Porugly. Eh, it's quite a good uh, fake out lead, I, I know. Um... Persian is actually probably a better choice. It's basically a lower tier version of Ambipom. Lower stats and everything. There's 30 less attack and and all that. But it is sort of does the same thing. So I think I might I think I might uh sorry. Persian. I'm gonna go Persian for a nice a nice lead Pokemon. Something that I can start off with easily. Now does it learn? U turn it does, that's perfect. So um, I'm going to go return or, or what should I go for? Are there any, does it learn any normal type moves that are less than 60? Uh, it does learn cut, covet, <laughs> um, headbutt, fury swipes, um, scratch, uh, what else? Fake out of C. Hmm, I don't think it really does I think return is the better choice for this definitely so I'm gonna go return well, uh, I think knock off as its last one. it is literally an ambipom set this is so I'm gonna go um, I think I might give it an adamant nature because its speed is really good anyway um, yeah it's got a nice speed stat at this kind of level and I'm gonna go life orb for that um, life orb fake out u-turn action and if I'm going to go Life Orb, actually, I think I might go Jolly. So I'll get the Jolly nature up there. And that's pretty good, actually. I, oh, Normal. Uh, normal. Oh, sorry. I thought I'd stopped recording there, but I hadn't. So it's all good. Um, I can always look into NFE. Uh, there are quite a few. Or only a few, but there are a few there that I could use. Um... It might be worth going up to RU actually, having a Pokemon like Chinchino. Chinchino. If I do go up to RU though, I'll have to use Ambipom instead of Persian. So I think I'll keep it. I'll just keep it NU and below. Just keep it. Stick to my word. And if I am, I think Pyro might actually be a great choice because it is a special attacker. Now Pyro is gonna have to be max special attack and max speed. With a oh 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 a jolly nature. I go for jolly nature. Is it NU? Yes, NU. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna go hyper voice flame. Oh, I'll have a look at what fire type moves this man. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Flame char. Oh, sorry, fire blast, fire spin, ember, fire, ember, <laughs> ember. Yeah, go on. Um, I'm gonna go flamethrower. Nice and safe. I don't like going to 
crazy with the choices there. Um, Dark Pulse covers Ghost, which is actually quite helpful. Um, special. What? Um, I could go hidden past Psychic, couldn't I? Or oh, what else covers fighting? Hidden power flying. Sorry about that. <laughs> Voice crack. Hidden power flying. Because psychic has an immunity. I don't know what. Um, I'm going to go on Earth just because that's nice. And I think because I don't really want to keep. Because I've got life. Or I don't. I, I. I don't strictly keep to. A kind of um, item clause. Why have I got four and two of them? Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit, a wee bit dodgy. Um, I think I will go flying here. I might change that, but I'm going to stick with flying for now. Now, hmm, I think expert belt. I know you, what you're thinking, oh, expert belt, but it's it's not that bad. It don't, you, don't, you don't lose, lose the life orb health and you can change moves. So it's kind of like not as powerful but also the best of both worlds, sort of. So, yeah, next up, we've got... So we've got what? We've got so hyper-offensive right now. We've got Stoutland, which is a, a revenge killer, retaliate user. Uh, we've got Persian, which is fake out lead uh, with life orb. We've got Pyral, which is expert belt, full attacking. So is there some kind of wall that we can have? Now, mill tank. Oh, mill tank is actually. What tier is mill tank in? NU. Oh, that's perfect. So we can go for heal bell, body slam, um, milk drink. Yeah, milk drink and toxic. I think. Yep, yeah, that's good. I like that. I'm gonna go fully defensive. Um, and I think 128 there and 120 there so sort because of, it's got quite good speed I can help it a bit it might be quite handy I am gonna stick with thick fat because defensive Pokemon all oh, I'm gonna because it's defensive wall physically defensive I'm gonna go for the rocky helmet and it's got the milk drink to get HP back anyway so I think that's quite good I do need a specially defensive wall now though so I'll look for that now I've got so I've got three I've sort of filled in the because to me personally I like to have what three uh, special attack? Uh, three special attackers, three physical attackers. That's just personal. Uh, Noctowl actually might be really cool to use because it's got quite good special defense and it works quite well as an assault vest user. I'm going to go for that actually. Um, this is very low low tier team. This is what NU uh, PU? Yeah, PU. So actually can't be lowered. That are not very effective on target deal double damage. Sugar. I think tinted lens is obviously better than, although insomnia could be helpful, but that's a bit of a fringe scenario, really. I am going to go fully specially defensive, um, with f max special attack as well, with the uh, Ua slash air slash hyper voice. Yeah, hyper voice. Um, hmm. Heat wave, that's quite interesting. I'm gonna put heat wave on it. Don't really know what it does, but like like for the team. I think Shadow Ball as well is very good. That's actually got really good coverage. Um That's really cool actually. I like the heat wave might be interesting. I, I need to I might need to think about that, rethink that one, but I think that might be really cool. Just to just to test it out, if anything. And finally Preferably a special attacker. I've got my two walls. I don't know what I'm doing here. I've got my two walls. Um, so a special attacking offensive threat. Now what can be a special attacking offensive threat? Uh, giraffe rig? <laughs> um, giraffe is actually quite poor. But you know. Um, let's just chatot. Chatot. I've seen chatot used before. Chatter chatot. The guaranteed confusion. I remember someone tried to use it against me, and I just it, it confused me, and then I just killed it in one hit. So, you know, that was great. Um, yeah, and then it sort of goes up to RU. So I think 
Ordino is obviously the best special attacker that is in the lower tiers, I think. A pyro obviously is the best. Um Oh, this is an interesting choice. I go cast form no I'm jo I hope you know I'm joking, guys. Um Licky Licky. Um Or I could just go full out uh physical attacker. I'm just thinking I don't want to be walled by a Pokemon. It would be quite a problem if I w if we were to be walled. Um, if I wasn't using Persian, then I'd be using uh, Wigglytuff because I like the screen setup at the start. Ursaring is actually one Pokemon that I've never really properly gotten to use, so that might be very interesting. I know Loudred, um, Exploud actually, but that's RU as well. Hmm, let me have a look. So what we got? Ordino, Kangaskhan, Kecleon, Miltank, Pyroar, Swellow, Tauros, uh, Zangoose, Buffalon, Cast Form, Chator, Delcati, Ditto. Oh, should I? Is that, is that viable? I know it's not viable, but is it? Wouldn't that just be funny? Wouldn't that just be hilarious? I think I'm going to go for Ditto. And some of you guys are going to absolutely hate me. I'm going to go Ditto. I'm going to go Ditto. Um, I'm going to go Choice Scarf. Uh, so I can obviously outspeed anything that doesn't have uh, Choice Scarf themselves. I'll just give it uh, some transforms. It doesn't matter what I do to it at all. I'll just give it a uh, physically defensive set. Because that's obviously what this team needs. So I'm going to... Oh, it's not valid for OU. I was thinking a bit more, <laughs> a bit lower tier. Valid for NU. It's valid for NU, which is fantastic. Um, let me just go through them. So we've got Stutland, Persian. What should I call it? Atlas? <laughs> oh, well, I spell... Um, sorry, uh... So I call my Ambipom Atlas with a U, and Atlas spelled with an A is the Greek god who held up the skies. Uh, I'm going to call Pyrol Aslan, Miltank, um, Stripper, uh, <laughs> I mean what, sorry, um, Noctowl, can be uh, oh what's the name of the was it just sorry um um what was the name of the owl from Winnie the Pooh is it just owl is it just owl is that the name of the owl oh, owl that's that's so boring. Uh, what? What? How boring is that? I'm on the the Disney Wik Wikipedia page, Disney Wiki, and it's just called Owl. Oh. Um. Let me just check something real quick. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Um. I think, um, <laughs> sorry, um, I just need to, I just need to find something, <laughs> okay, so carrot in uh, Latin, uh, is carota, okay, that just sounds, um, Sorry, I'm um, I'm just trying to find something that would fit for an owl. Um, Bubonem. <laughs> okay, Bubonem. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but that's what I'm calling it. 
Bubonem, it means owl in Latin. Because, you know, you can only call things things in Latin. Um, just like how ditto is ditto in Latin. Uh, copy. It's just copy in Latin. Okay, should I go for like a Mexican word this time? Uh, oh no, Spanish. Spanish, okay. Here we go, so... Patata. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go for ditto, it's uh, platano. I think that's how it's pronounced. Platano. And that means uh, banana. Okay? Yes, you heard right. Banana. Oh, okay, so we've got Stutland, the revenge killing choice banding, all around amazing retaliating Pokemon. We've got Atlas, the Greek god. Um, uh, sorry, let me just. Bastet. Huh. Hmm. I'm, I'm keeping with the theme of random Greek mythology and random mythology. So, um, Persian is called Bastet, which is the, who is the, um, the goddess, um, of cats. Uh, the goddess of cats, protection, joy, dance, music, family, and love. Which is adorable, of course. Um, which is really cool so we've got Aslan obviously the lion from the lion the witch in the wardrobe who's a expert belting kind of interesting um, timid uh, sweeping kind of thing with hidden power fire flying which is a bit interesting but I think just because because it's more normal if it was a different team I'd probably give it something else but yeah so we've got stripper the mill tank which is a fully defensive wall with a bit of Attack and speed thrown in. Actually, I'm going to replace the speed with HP. I, I like going through the team after like this for things like this. So yeah, it's got Heal Bell for those pesky burner, burning Pokemon. Um, Body Slam for the amazing Paralysis Chance. Um, milk Drink and Toxic, obviously walled by a Steel type. Can't do anything. Uh, we've got a huge problem with Steel types apart from Aslan, but in lower tiers you're it's quite rare to find steel types just generally, um, so I'm not too bothered about that. We've got uh, Bubonem, the uh, Noctowl, Owl in Latin, um, fully specially defensive wall. I think I'm going to go for a 128 in special attack. Oh no, no, I've kind of got to go max special attack to be honest, um, because of the all the attacking moves it's got, obviously all of them. And then we've got Platano, which is just a ditto. Which can be anything it wants to be. I'm sure this is banned for Mono Normal as well. But there we have it, everyone. My Mono Normal team. You can have a look at it there. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it as well. You know, I'd, um, if you didn't like the video, of course... Leave a dislike and also do your best to tell me down below why you didn't like it. I can't improve my videos unless I'm told what I'm doing wrong, which is a very good point. So if you feel like anything could be improved, then just let me know. If there's anything wrong with these sets that I've done today, then again, just let me know and I'll um, probably use your input um, wisely. But anyhow... Thank you very much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.